Let's jump into a text breakdown showing you guys everything that happened from the moment we matched with the girl on Bumble, what that entire text sequence looked like, how to keep it flirty, how to move the interaction forward, all the way to getting the phone number with the girl and setting up the date. So it starts out with the girl actually messaging us on Bumble. She says, well, you're hella cute, ain't ya? Which is a really positive response. If you guys aren't familiar with Bumble, the girl has to message first. Majority of the women on this app are just gonna use like a wave emoji or just say, hey, or hey, what's up, or hey, how are you, which is ironically kind of funny because like those same messages, if a guy sends that stuff, like the girl's not gonna respond. But in this case, the girl actually starts out very positive. He went in and used a line taken right from the vault inside of Quip. If you guys aren't familiar with the vault, it's a compilation of all the different openers, all the different flirty lines you could use, connection building lines, closing sequences, all of that. It's a massive compilation of a list and we update that list every month with the newest and like most effective text game lines, okay? So this line was taken directly from there. He says, I bet you use that line on all the cute guys, winky face, which is such a good line because this is literally the exact kind of test, I guess, witty response that a girl would give to a dude if he was using a pickup line on her at the bar. I like this line because you're pretty much giving the girl it and putting it back on her. I think it's really clever. So she says, yeah, I do actually just easier, ain't it? And then he says, smooth. How's your New Year's Day treating you? No response, okay? Whenever the girl gives you no response, I don't recommend you double text like that same day, probably even the next day. I like to do two to maybe three days. And here's the thing, you don't need to like get insecure in your head or hey, why aren't you responding? You don't get butt hurt, you don't get insecure, you don't ask her why she's not responding. You can just either hit her with a dot 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 question mark or you could use one of the lines that are in the vault or in this instance, he plays around with the idea asking her about her New Year's Day. So he said, oh, it was that good, huh? So she says, yeah, it was good, sorry. It's been a busy, busy start to the New Year. Did you celebrate well? He says, no worry, I did. New Year's Day was spent on the sofa watching films with all my Christmas chocolate, LOL. This message isn't like amazing, but it is a little bit different than like normal standard. Hey, how's your day going? Oh, it's good, you. So even if you're not coming in with something super flirty, make sure you have something that's unique, that gives a little bit of insight into your life, some kind of personal input that gives the girl something that she could respond to. You always wanna be thinking one to two messages ahead. Hey, if I send this message, what is the girl most likely gonna respond with? And then where can I take that messaging sequence to? So you're trying to think one, two, three steps ahead. She says, sounds delightful and sounds like my day today, TBH. He says, sounds great. And then he takes another line straight from the vault. Give me the basics then, any tattoos, kids, Fun kinks, crazy hobbies. She says, yeah, man, three kids, full sleeve. Girls will typically do this if you ask these kind of questions, which is still okay. It's not a bad thing that she does that. It does make things like different and it's a little joking and fun. So it's not necessarily a bad thing, but I have noticed that girls will have a tendency of saying like, yeah, uh, two baby daddies just got out of jail, blah, 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 blah. And then you could typically go like, oh, sounds like wifey material and you could like make some comments from there. So she says, joking, nothing too exciting. I'm actually hella dull, TBH. You? She says, hella dull, that's gonna have to be your name in my contacts, LOL. And that was an instant response that he used from inside of Quip as well. I guess it's just like a little tease that you're gonna have her name saved in your phone as that, which is also kind of seeding that we're gonna save her number in our phone, which definitely isn't a bad thing. But then he says, no kids, six tats, kinks, I'll keep to myself, which is cool. That's why you mentioned that part in the previous question, because typically, the girls won't even acknowledge that part. It's kind of like snuck in there in the messaging. And then when she doesn't respond and you put it back on you, you could use that phrase right there to like subtly keep it a little sexual without overdoing it. And I play guitar, read, write, gym, and run. She says, it's a good name, don't you think? Oh, what are the six? Sounds delightful, what do you write? No kids, no tats, I'm not decisive enough, LOL. And I run, play hockey, gym, she's clearly investing. Bit of painting, crochet a lot, no judgment please. Oh, whenever girls are like, no judgment please, that's definitely an easy way to start subtly making a joke about it or teasing about it. Oh, and drink way too much, but that's going to improve and reduce this year. And when I say tease and joke, it doesn't necessarily need to be in the next message. It can be, but you could keep that in the back of your mind for later on in the conversation when maybe you get her on the phone or when you're out on the date with her. I'm always thinking about little things I could tease and poke fun at, and you can recycle those concepts later on in the conversation to continuously be re-spiking the interaction and just having bursts of, emotional spikes and teasing sprinkled throughout. And then when you do tease the girl, you can turn those into push pulls. Like if you say that she's like a little nerd or she's like a dork or she's like 
a little homebody. Later on, you could use those things, right? Like, oh, you're so nerdy, but you're low-key like adorable. You're so cute for being a, a crocheter. I would never expect you did that. Anything like that, right? So I like to do teases and jokes to kind of give bursts of emotional spikes. And then later on, you could use those as callback humor, but then you could also start turning those into push pulls using the tease along with you're cute, but, or you do this, but you're cute, or but you're adorable. He says, suits you, LOL, my fave is the one on the back of my arm, a woman's face with a rose coming out of the top. I write music and short stories. You run? I've been looking for a running partner. Maybe I'll call you hella fun slash grandma. Okay, so again, this is an ongoing joke from the previous messages talking about, I'll save your name as hella dull. Oh, he said hella full. Again, this is what I'm talking about. You can just keep recycling the same joke and sometimes you can twist the wordplay on it. Like in this instance, it went from hella dull to hella full. The other thing I like that he did is the idea of seeding a future meetup based on the activity that we were talking about. So you guys are talking about an activity instead of just saying, oh, that's cool, you do that, I like to do that too. He said, oh, you run? I've been looking for a running partner. Maybe I'll call you. Maybe I'll call you hella full slash grandma, winky face. So still teasing the girl with the callback joke, with the seeding the future meetup. So she says, sounds interesting, out of her head, talking about the tattoo. Yeah, a little broke my wrist a few weeks ago, and, and I know it was my wrist, but I haven't have done a lot recently, so trying to get back into it all. Yeah, I prefer super mature, but I'll take grandma. Okay, at this point he comes back into the instant response feature, and then we crafted him this message. Yeah, probs easier if I just show you on our date. Great way to move it forward. Again, hinting at the idea that we're gonna meet up in baby steps. You don't just need boring small talk, small talk, small talk, and then it's like, anyway, let me ask you on a date. It's like small talk, but embedded into the small talk is hinting at the idea that we could do some of this stuff together, or I'm gonna show you one of these things when we meet up. Okay, so great message, and then it's good. I can ease you back into it, hinting at the fact that she's grandma, and talking about running and stuff. She says, oh, I see. How far do you normally go? You look proper speedy, but like, you look really speedy. I tend to do between 20 to 30K a week. You, she said, oh my God, nowhere near that much. I mean, that's typically attractive. If a girl's into a certain activity and you can indicate to her in a non try hard bragging way that like you're superior than her in that activity, it definitely creates some level of attraction. It's a demonstration of higher value, essentially. She also said, it's been a while though. I've taken the new year, new me seriously this year. He said, oh yeah, what are your resolutions this year? And then also in the instant response feature, we had him baby step the interaction forward more. So again, do you like wine by the way? Probably the most simple, easiest closing sequence that you could start to initiate when things are going good. It's really as simple as do you like wine? Do you like wine by the way? And then you move into like red or white or you could just kind of baby step from there. She says, well, we'll get fit obviously and not get blackout drunk. <laughs> What are yours? Yes, I do. Red is my fave though. He says, I want to get back into writing. Used to write short stories, but have to let it slip this past year. Good choice. We should split a bottle sometime soon. Okay. So you can see again, it's just ever so slightly moving it forward. It's, do you like wine? She says, yes. Do you like the color? Great. We should split a bottle sometime soon. Not, what are you doing tonight? It's like, we should split a bottle sometime soon. If she agrees to that, then we start to narrow it in from there. And then there will be a number exchange. So she says, oh, about what? Maybe we should. He says, all sorts. Most recent one was about a homeless man I got chatting to at train stop. What's that face for, LOL? That's the face I pull out after my half of the bottle. <laughs> and then at this point, it's going well enough and the girl's reciprocating and responding positively. You don't need to keep like going in like these tiny, tiny degrees. At some point, you can just realize, okay, like she's on board with this whole thing. The interaction has been flirty. Like she agreed to do this. At which point he just says, LOL, shoot me your number and we'll sort it out. Okay, really simple. So she sends the number with a little gun emoji <laughs> and said, oh wait, no, actually, yes. What, wrong number? She said, yeah, I thought it was, but it's correct. He says, as long as you answer and not some 30 year old bald man, LOL, message. So that's a great interaction to go from the first message, from the first moment we matched with the girl messaging us, keeping things super fun and flirty while still getting to know you. And remember, it's not just small talk, small talk, small talk, ask the girl out. It's like, get to know you talk, while hinting at the idea that we could possibly do one of these things or I'll show you how to do this thing or you're into that thing, damn, I've been looking for someone to do that with. Whether it's like speaking a new language, going out for drinks, in this case it was running. I did another breakdown where it was swimming, right? So no matter what the activity is, it's just the concept of hinting at the idea that we could probably do this sometime soon and then when the girl agrees, we start to move it forward in small increments, okay? 
So that's that breakdown. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you guys learned something from this. If you enjoyed this content, if you wanna learn more about text game, online dating, social media mastery, check out my brand new mobile app. The link is in the description. It's called Quip, okay? You can download that right now. I'm gonna teach you everything you need to know about these concepts. There's also live weekly coaching calls with me, and there's also the instant response feature. So you can upload screenshots of your text interactions, of your dating profiles. We'll analyze your screenshots and give you the exact messages that you need to send to the girl to get a perfect response, to get her out on a date, so you get more women and more dates going on in your life, all right? Download that right now. The link is in the description. That's all for this video. Until next time, Coach Kyle signing out. Peace out, guys.